Sleeve is clear. All that fraud for Fauna. 80 million. 80 million for that. Pfft. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> now. You are absolutely robbed, Chelsea. Feel sorry for you lot. Anyway. Shush. <laughs> Someone sent me this. And they're like, you've got to take a look at this, Terry. I don't understand. I understand what he's saying. I understand the words. But where is it? Have Leicester fans been, have Leicester or Chelsea fans been saying Fafana's better than Saliba? I don't know what this kid's chatting about. You sent me through, though. This is the fan channel review. Make sure you're hitting the like button. You're hitting the subscribe button. Let's jump straight into it. That has to be him. The ref's blown the whistle. Is that it's Saliba? Clear. Is that oh, Saliba? Oh, my yes! My Come on, Saliba! Come Buddha, on! Yeah? Go on. My Come Buddha. on! Yes, Saliba! Let's take a look at Lee's reaction there. And let's take a look at some other Arsenal fans and just think for a second. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Come on! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, no. yes! No. Oh, yes! What do you mean? Oh, yes! What do you mean? Yes! What, do you mean? Yes! what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean, man? Huh? <laughs> what time Come on, Lee, bro? That has to be him. The ref's blown the whistle. Is that Saliba? Is that Saliba? Yes! Come on, Saliba! Come on! Come on! I'm so happy we scored. Yeah! Did he go in? Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Salima, head on to the back post It's almost like he knew if his mum heard, he'd be in trouble. Lifting into the ball, not in there! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! Titties are out. The titty titty bang bangs are out. <laughs> what a goal! Oh my day! Oh my day! Oh it was just is that I tell you? I told you I wanted to see something. I said I wanted man. to see something. Oh my god! My team just went two 0 up. Oh my god! Amazing! My team is top of the league. Oh my god! I'm so happy. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God, I'm in the mud. <laughs> oh, Take a look at these Arsenal fans and let's look at Lee again. Oh, is he? Come goal. on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Hey, that was Come mad. On. What a goal. Can't believe it. My new star striker scores again. I'm so happy. <laughs> Lee is in the mud, in the mud. Lee is in the mud. Na 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 na. Remaining humble is where Ivan Tony's got him. So why are you speaking? Even the Brentford fans were talking. Some of them, not all of them. They were talking. They used to be in League Two. So why they opening their minds? Amazing! It's so quiet here. It's so quiet here. Last season they was trying to scare. No, 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 no. Ivan Tony, man, listen. Ivan Tony. Um... I just want to say real quick, like both sets of fans have gone like out their minds over this. Firstly, like Gunas, of course, the team Brentford sides are going to come for you when they beat you. They are a tiny club in comparison to the might of Arsenal. So beating you, with all due respect, beating. Arsenal last season and beating Man United this season are arguably the two biggest achievements in this club's history. So, of course, they're going to give you a little bit of banter. Equally, people are going to go at Arsenal for bantering back. That's football. They're not punching down. It's not a, it's not a group of people from a, a first world country attacking people from a developing nation. This is literally football banter. I think we're starting to take it a little bit, just a little bit too seriously. Message to Ivan Tony. 
you can if you want sit down when William and Gabriel let you out of your pocket I will suggest a song by um, Be Humble Be Humble I can't remember who sit it is sit down Kendrick. be humble Kendrick yeah. Lamar thank you yep. Kendrick Lamar please Ivan sit Tony down, listen listen and I'll, I'll, I'll mention the song if you don't know it Be Humble sit down because that's what you need to do next time so you can calm yourself down but well done though like I said big him up for, for the charity big him up for being in the squad but listen you don't talk to the real bad men in football <laughs> Bad men, <laughs> the real bad men of football. And <laughs> 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 time again in this Premier League season, or are they going to bounce back? Are they going to use what happened against Manchester United as motivation? They were the best team. They played Manchester United off the park for 70 minutes, and they came away with nothing. So, are they a team with resilience and fight and tenacity and spirit, or are they potentially going to play really well in their next fixture and come up with a draw? Guess what? They have answered all of those, I mean, with a plomp. Fair play to Mikel Arteta, because they are now top of the league, and it means that we have to ask the question, are they title contenders? The only answer is yes, I'm afraid. If you are genuinely saying that Arsenal aren't title contenders, you are either being incredibly tribal, which I have ultimate respect for. You are either a Tottenham fan who just can't see it, or I am afraid that you have the blinkers on. Because this Arsenal team are capable of winning the league. I don't think they'll win it. I'm not saying that they're going to win it. I can't see past Manchester City. Listen, what do you make of what Rory Jennings is saying there? Because I'm someone who feels that Arsenal are the real deal this season and will become title contenders. Whether that's challenging for this particular title or developing over the course of this season to challenge next year, I think they're en route to that. Excellent goalie, defensively very sound, good quality midfield, getting better and better week in, week out in attack, top of the league. They've responded to losing, as Rory said. And if you watch my channel regularly, you know that's something I've been spouting for a few weeks. And I think Rory's right. And I think Rory has essentially, he's gone, listen, I can banter. And Rory Jennings is probably one of the best out there at bantering rival fans. He loves the tribal stuff. Probably one of the best in the business, the best maybe in the business of rattling people with not fake opinions, but just banter. You know, you can, I love in the past where he said things tongue in cheek and people have taken it seriously. He's great. But I think he's almost got to a stage where he's like, I've just got to call out, call Arsenal what I think they are right now. And that's a very good team with title credentials. And I want to know what you think and feel like, is Rory overstating it? Is it still too premature? And if it's too premature, I need you to tell me why. I need to understand your rationale as to why you think that, because Arsenal have been sensational. Now, I know most all the content today is, is from um, Arsenal fans. It's because that's what was sent in to me. So if you want to get a video featured or a person featured on the fan channel review show, send me a link. Timestamp it, by the way, because some of the videos some of you send me are like 45 minutes long. Um, and let me know what sections you want me to kind of look at, any TikTok videos, Insta videos that you want me to feature. Feel free to send it through. But Gunas, I know why they're dominating because they're in the ascendancy right now. So they're dominating across social media. That's why it's been sent in. But I do want your thoughts and I do want your feelings. Smash the like and the share button before you leave. Let's go.